Welcome once again to the question solving stage of single product break even analysis. We are still looking at where the company produces and then sell only one product. So it's like single product, right? Single product. Single product. Good. Single product. Okay. Single product. Now let's see. Let's come to the our first question. Yeah. Kindly go through and familiar yourself with all the formulas. Or oh. so we are still looking at the single product. Question one and two are yours. Okay. I will go through question two and question three. Okay. Then let's see. Okay, let's see question two. Question two says that the following data relate to product PQ. Selling price is 25 cities. Variable cost is worth 20 Ghana cities per unit. Fixed costs are 50,000 cities. So first, calculate the number of units that must be made and sold in order to break even. Calculate the break even point again, this time expressed in terms of what sales revenue. Then see, calculate the level of activity that is required to generate a profit of 40,000 cities. The company budget to sell 13,000. In fact, uh, this section is D. This section is D. Is D, and then this must be E. So D, the company budget to sell 13,000 units of product PQ. Calculate the margin of safety in terms of what units, in terms of value, and as a percentage, as a percentage. Good. And finally, calculate the contribution to sales ratio for product PQ. So that's the requirement. Now let's go straight. So the number of units that must be made and sold in order to what break even. So that means production is equal to what sales. That's one of the assumptions. And the break even production must be equal to sales. Now let's go straight. So what's the formula? Then we are done. So first. The action for break even units. So break even break even units. Break even units. Good. Now the first one is the break even units. We said that break even unit is equal to the fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. So what's the fixed cost in the question? And let's go to the question and pick these issues from there. Now in the question, the fixed cost is what 50,000. Contribution is equal to selling price minus what the variable cost. Good. So that would be five cities, right? So fixed cost is 50,000. So therefore, 
Ghana city of 50,000 divided by contribution of five Ghana cities per unit. Good. So that is it. Video workings enter the examiner that this contribution is nothing by 25 Ghana cities less than 20 cities is equal to what? Five cities. I'll be getting good. So that's your first workings. Now let's see. This will be city will cancel city, so level units. Good. So the answer will be 10,000 units, right? 10,000 units. So that means when they produce 10,000 units, they are going to break even. So that's the first thing that we will do. I'll be getting it. good. Now, second, the inform us to calculate the break even point again. This time, express it in terms of what sales revenue. What are you looking for? That's the break even what value. Break even value. Have break even units. And then break even what value. Good. So this break even units. So B, you're asking for break even value. So I write here break even value. Now to the examiner that in fact there are two formulas, but now we're using the first one. We will tell the examiner that it's nothing by the selling price times the break even units. Good. Selling price times the break even. Now let's go to the question to pick the selling price. That's 25. Selling price is for 25 Ghana cities. So therefore, so therefore, the selling price will be 25 Ghana cities times the unit, which is 10,000 break even units. So therefore, this will give us 250. Thousand cities, agree. Twenty fifty thousand cities. Now, by the end of this question, we are going to produce an alternative. Can you look at the alternative? By the time we finish this question, I will produce an alternative way to arrive at this two hundred fifty. Yes, and you should know all these alternatives. Why? Because sometimes this selling price will not be given to you in the question. So where the selling price is not given, there must be an alternative. I'll be get it. Good. Now let's continue the game and then do the C. Now the C saying that we should cover the level of activity that is required to generate a profit of what forty thousand. So that's break even at what target profit or required profit or required margin. Now let's see. So the unit required, the unit required, the level of activity. So that's the unit. The unit required or the activity level will be activity level will be equal to so we need our fixed cost plus what plus the target profit all divided by the contribution per unit average so that is it if i should continue down let's go down down So this will give us what is the face cost? 50,000 cities. But let's bring the currency in. 50,000 cities plus what? Target profit of what? 40,000. I don't need cities in. 
Sabi sa Green Series din. 40,000 series. Oh, divided by Oh, divided by Good. The 5 Ghana series per unit. So what to be the what to be the units or the activity level? So the activity level will be good. Any answer for me? Any answer for me? So this will give us that's 90,000 divided by 5. 90,000 divided by 5. Go to 18,000. Go. 18,000. So write 18,000 in here. 18,000 units. Yes. Great. So that's the C. 18,000 units. Please, have you seen where we have started from? Gradual, gradual, I want to enter into deep sea. So it starts slowly and then we'll get there. Good. Now let's continue the game. The next question states that. The company budget to sell 13,000 units. Of product worth PQ. Calculate the margin of safety. So if the budgeted unit is worth 13,000 in terms of unit value and as well as a percentage. So now let's go to the board. So the budgeted unit is what thirteen thousand. Budgeted unit is thirteen thousand. So A, B, C, and D. Good. So we tell the examiner that we are calculating what margin of safety. Margin of what safety? Please no shortcut. First, in terms of units, so let's calculate it to the unit first. The unit is equal to what? Can tell us the formula. If a margin of safety basically is the difference between the budgeted level of activity and the break even level of what activity. So, budget minus what? The break even. That's or determine your safety that you are for. Okay. Now let's see. So um, it will be budgeted units. Budgeted units. Less break even units. Good. So that is it. So therefore, budgeted unit is worth 13,000. And margin of safety be what? Sorry, the break even unit, we had 10,000 somewhere. That's the break even unit. We had 10,000. It will be less what? 10,000. Then that's the end. So therefore, that is what? 3,000 units. So the safety that we have allowed is what? 3,000 units. That's the first. Then second is value. The margin of safety in terms of what? Value. The formula is equal to anytime you're looking for value and then the selling price in the question, somewhere yourself, just multiply it by it and then you are done. But all of this, all the value that you see we are going to provide an alternative to it and then so the value will be selling price times what 
the margin of safety unit. That is it. What if there was no selling price in your question? Yes, there should be alternative. So let's see. Selling price is what? Ghana City of 25. And then the margin of safety unit is what? 3,000 units. So therefore, therefore, the answer will be what? So that will give us 75,000 units. Ghana City is not limited. So that's the margin of safety in terms of what? In terms of value. Now let's see as a percentage. So margin of safety as a percentage. So as a percentage. That one too, but the formula is very long. But don't worry yourself at all. It's equal to the margin of safety units divided by the budgeted units. But you're supposed to write a formula like this. The budget plus the break-even units all divided by the word budgeted units. Meanwhile, the budgeted units less break-even is the same as margin of safety in terms of units. So therefore, we can just take this section off, replace it by what? By margin of safety in terms of what? Units. Good. So now the formula will be margin of safety in terms of what? Units. All divided by what? Budgeted units. Budgeted units times what? 100. Oh, sorry times 100 good so that is it okay so times 100 so let's do the substitution the margin of safety in terms of unit is 3000 budget is what 13000 times 100 and then Put the answer down for me. So that is it. Good. Okay. Great. So that is 21, 23 dot what? Just seven percent. So 23 dot just seven percent. Other eight, right? I can make it. Yeah, is there eight or just one? Eight percent good. So that is the end of the margin of safety. Margin of our safety good, and then you'll be fine. Now, this margin of safety, this percentage, uh, let me ask this question now. Assuming the margin of safety is 23. The margin of safety is, let's say, 20%. Mm -hmm. And then the budget, the budgeted item is, let's say, 10,000. What is the break even unit? You can work on this for me. I'll be get a question. Let's assume that the margin of safety is what 20 percent and then the budgeted unit is also 10,000 what is the break even unit good so what is the break even unit now the budgeted unit is always 100 which is Put it that way, their budgeted needs is always what? 100. So this is 100. If, and then the break even unit is less than what? 100. So that is it. Now let me see if I can change this section. Now I'll do it here. Always the budgeted unit is what? 100%. 
break even unit is less than 100. It, you have to take off the safety from it. If the safety is 20%, let me write the safety here first. If the safety, the margin of safety is 20%, then the break even will be what? 80% of that value. That's all. How we get it? Yes. In fact, always the budget is 100%. Margin of safety will be X percent. Then the break even will be what? 100 minus what? X. Where X is what? The margin of safety percentage. This is a general assumption that will help you work faster to arrive at the break-even unit. So therefore, if you take 80% of this figure, it will give you what? The break-even unit. So therefore, 80% times 10,000. Yeah, I'm just assuming that the budgeted unit is what? 10,000. This one is not coming from the question. It's an assumption. We so said times 10,000, that will give us what? 8,000. So that's the break even unit, 8,000. I will get it. Okay. Now let me take it again. Let me take it again. We said that the break even and then the margin of safety, let's assume that you are breaking even when you produce when you produce 10,000 uh, let me use this illustration let's see if the break even you are breaking even at value of let's say 8,000 when you produce 8,000 units you are breaking even so because of that you budgeted The budget, budget for 10,000, so that at least, even if you're not getting the 10,000, you land yourself somewhere here. So question like this, what is the margin of safety? Realize that the difference is 2,000. So the margin of safety is what, 2,000 units. How do we get it? So if I take the margin of safety from the break even, sorry, from the budget, it must, be equal to what the break even. How we get it? Uh -huh. So, if the break even is eight thousand and then the budget is ten thousand, then the margin of safety is what two thousand. Alternatively, when we inform you the budget and we give you the margin of safety, when I take the safety from the budget, it will land me at what the break even. So if I take 2,000 from 10,000, it will come back to us. Good. And always, the break even is 100, sorry, the budget is 100%. So if this represents 100%, because that's the budget. Then budget, sorry, the break even will be less of what the safety. So the safety must be taken out. Now, the margin of safety will be what? The 2,000 divided by the 10,000. That will give us 20%. So the margin of safety is 20%. We've added 20% safety. Then the break even will be what? 80%. That will get it. So the break even is 80%. So that is it. So always, when you are looking for the Break even with the help of the budget, just look at the safety and then take it off from it. We are preparing ourselves to go and face question number three, so that when you get there, you do it for me. Good. So here you can find any of the item. How we get it? Good. You can use the same approach over here. We can use this figure to work back to arrive at what the budgeted figure, which is what, 10,000. So here too, if we want to work back, sorry, we want to work back to get a break even 
for this particular question. The margin of safety is 23.08. And then the budget is what 13. So therefore the break even will be what? 100 minus what 23. The remaining percentage, then you multiply it by what? The budget, which is the 13,000. So that will be. Yes, as a percentage. Good. So therefore, let's try that one and then see when you get this one clear. So 100 minus 23.08 will give us, so 100 less 23.08, that will give us 76.92 agreed. It means that the break even represents 76.92. So to be 76.92 percent of what? Of the 13,000. So let's see. So 76.92 percent times 13,000. That should give us what? the break even units. So point zero seven six nine two times thirteen one two three. Wow. Times thirteen one two three. That'll give us I'm getting nine 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 dot what six. So if you run into the nearest phone number, we are getting what? 10,000 units. So that's a brief even. So I hope, I hope you are getting it. Please, I will tell you the truth. Exam question will not be straightforward like what you've done, no. Exam question, I'm going to move you uh, left and right from my zone of safety to the, to the what, break even unit. These are the issues that I want to see in the exam question, not straightforward question, yes. So let's take notes. So that is it. So now you are fine with this idea. Okay, then that's good. If I'm fine with this idea, then I don't have any issue. Now let's move on again. Up everyone clear with this. So the same way we can also use this to look out for the margin of the safety itself, the value. So it's a percentage, the safety times what? The budget. Always try and track it on what? The budget. Now, finally, let me see if you are following. Let me see if you are following. Okay, good. Now let's take it again. Here we are saying that if the margin of safety is 20%, oh, then the break even represents the other net. So the break even will be what? Will be 80% of what? Of the budget. All of them is on the budget. So if margin of safety is 20%, then the break even will be what? 80%. All of them is on the budget because the budget is what? 100%. That is the assumption and that is the idea that we are going to use. So the question is, if I've given you the budget and then we have informed you with a margin of safety of what? 20%, then what will be the break even? Okay. If the safety is 20 and the budget is 100, that means there's a certain figure here which they have added 20 to it before they arrive at the 100. What this figure? Okay, it's 80. Because 100 minus 20 give us what? 80. That's the break even. Now, if the break even is 80%, we don't know. But we know the 100%. So, that is not that if, if, so if 100%, which is the budget, is equal to 10,000 units, therefore, therefore, 
eighty percent reward, but for it, that is the eight thousand. How we get good? So that one is there. So when you work it out, or is it as you taking eighty percent of the ten thousand to give you what the two thousand? Good. So that is it. So here we will be putting eight thousand. So in short, in short, the break-even break -even unit is also calculated as what? One minus the margin of safety unit times the budgeted unit. How we get it? Budgeted unit. So that's the formula. So let's use this one and see if we get it, the same answer. So when we use this, one, Minus the margin of safety is 0.2 times budgeted is 10,000 here. So, therefore, here will be 0 0.8 times 10,000 average. So, that will give us 8,000. So, that's what break even here. Put it here 8,000. You are done. Now, we're trying to work back our normal answer, the one that we have here. The one that we have here, this 23.08, we're trying to work back to get a breaking in. And we said, okay, take one, the margin of safety from one, multiply the answer by all, by the budgeted unit to get the same answer. So for here, it was 100. We have 10 them, I've expressed them as well, decimal. Here's a real percentage. Good. Can still go by this. So let's see. So it will be one minus zero dot two three zero eight agreed. That is what the margin of safety. All times the budget. Budget is thirteen thousand. So times thirteen thousand. Good. It will be still give us the same answer as what. We had 9,999.6. And to the nearest phone number, we get to what? We run it to 10,000 and we get the end. So, this is how we are going to work for it. Okay. How we get it? Good. Now, that is the game. That's the game. Now, the challenge of the day is this. Work out for this for me. Now the margin of safety. Margin of safety. The margin of safety in units. I'm just as soon as equal to four thousand. It's equal to four thousand. Margin of safety as percentage is equal to, I'm just as soon as 25%. Don't copy it, and I'm done. Then, good, that's all. Required. I like this. Required. One calculate the the budgeted units and then two calculate the break even units. Let's try. The try it for me. So only this. Yes. Margin of safety in terms of units. Okay, there's a question. Let me pick the question first. Try this, and then let's see. These are the questions that uh, should be interested in, but not the straightforward one. Yes. Good. Now let's do justice to this. First, budget is what? It's 100, right? 
always budget is 100. So first, I'll use two, but can you three different apples, but we just do something. I get a budgeted unit. So budgeted unit. If 25%, that's the margin of safety, is equal to 4,000 units. Have you seen? If the 25%, margin of safety 25, the unit is 4,000. If that one is 25, then what are you looking for? Budget is worth 100. Always oh, budget is worth 100. So therefore, 100% is equal to, we don't know. That's method one. So therefore, x is equal to what? 16,000 units. That's the first method. Method two. Method two. What are you looking for? I'm looking for the budgeted units, which is what? Always 100. So bring whatever I'm looking for. I'm looking for budgeted units, is what? 100. Divided by what they're giving you. This is 25%. Okay. But its equivalent unit is worth 4,000. So times what? 4,000. But this answer will be worth 16,000. And then you are done. How do you get it? So 16,000 units. Good. Now, that's the aim. Yes. So the budget unit is 16,000. Now let's start. We said that if the margin of safety is 25 percent and the given the unit, so if 25 percent is equal to 4,000, now what is the budget? Budget is always worth 100. So if 25 percent is equal to 4,000 units, then 100 percent is worth. Don't know. So we solve it. We get it. To. Alternative. Always. What are you looking for? I'm looking for budget. Budget is 100. So write what you're looking for first. What are they giving it to you? Oh, they give us what 25 percent, which is what the margin is divided by 25. What they have given you times its value, which is what 4,000. This also give us what the same answer as the 16,000. So that is it. Second, our method. No, it's okay. So let's go to the the second assignment. Let me get A. Let me get B. So two. Work number two, which is the break-even unit. Here we can use three different approaches to do. First, you know that the margin of safety, margin of safety in terms of units is equal to what? Budgeted unit man minus what? Break-even unit. Do substitution and make break even what the subject. We know the margin of safety to be what 4,000. And then the budgeted unit we know to be what 16,000. Good. So therefore, the, the break even unit to be what less x. So that is it, which is what. So therefore, finally, we solve it, the answer is 4,000. But the difference between the budget and the break even is the margin of safety. So now you know the, the margin of safety and then the budget. So their difference must also give us what the break even. That's method word one. Method two. You can use this approach to do it. Method two. You know that break even is always what? Lesser than lesser than what the hundred so we got the examiner that let me take the question and do it then or use the formula that we drive so that one to method two if hundred if 25 percent is equal to four thousand break even represent what 75 percent which is what we don't know. We solve it. We give you the same answer. That's method two. Method three. 
We said that open your bracket, one manager marginal six percent each times what budgeted you that is it. So what, what how do you work it out? Marginal of safety is what? 25. So you should what one manager dot two five times what budget of sixteen thousand. So that is it. So that's third approach. All of them will give us the same answer. We are preparing ourselves towards what? Question number three. When I get to question number three, you will do it for me. Good. Now let's move on. I hope it's okay. I hope it's clear. Let's go. Good. That's fine. Good. In fact, let me add number four to it. Number four. What are you looking for? I'm looking for break even. Break even, you know that is what less than 100. So that's the 80 percent, right? So I'm looking for 80 percent. What do you have? I have 25. So 80 over 25 times 4,000. This one will give us the same answer. How we get it? Uh -huh. So four different methods. The answer must be the same. Good. Now let's move on with the question that we are solving. The last aspect says that we should calculate what the CS ratio, that's the contribution to sales what ratio for the product P. So let's calculate the CS what ratio. CS ratio. CS ratio. So it must be 75%, not 80%. All right. Thank you very much. So I'm 75%, not 80. Thank you. It must be 75, not 80. Because the margin of safety is what 25. The break even might be what 75. So safety plus break even give us what the budget. How we get it? Safety plus what break even give us the budget. So in that order. Good. Yes, so that is it. Realize that these approaches are different, like four. Yeah, that some of them are the same. This and this, this are, we are heading towards the same thing. But the finance might be what? the same or correct ratio so cs ratio cs ratio so the cs ratio will be nothing by what so that's e e will be contribution to sales ratio we need a d in fact the arrangement of the question does there's one that did not name it. So we are the E. So contribution to sales ratio. To sales what ratio. Please, the formula is equal to the contribution divided by sales. Times of 100. Good. Okay. This year you can get a contribution per unit. It must move with selling price per unit. If I dealing with the total contribution, it must do total. If I should it, the formula will be like this: contribution per unit divided by selling price. Have you seen or? Total contribution, total contribution divided by what? Total sales revenue, total or sales. So these are the two formulas. I'll be getting. All these to give us the same answer. Uh -huh. So that is it. 
depend on which one is not available, then you go by it. And let's go to the question and pick the same. From this question, the show should change to five. Contribution value is what five. So therefore, CS ratio is what five divided by 25 times what 100. That will give us 25 percent, right? So the CS ratio is what 25 percent. This CS ratio today is 20. Okay. I'll just carry this one. 29. Thank you. 20 percent. This year's ratio, I want to um, do more about it. The CS ratio, I want to do more about the CS ratio. Good. Now, let's see. Now, anytime you cover the CS ratio and you get 20%, that means the variable cost is also what? The remaining half. Now, let's do something here. Selling price is 25 Ghana cities. Variable cost is what? 20 Ghana cities. Contribution is 5. How do you get this? Now find your percentage for me. Express all of them as a percentage of what? Sales. Express all of them. So 25 divided by 25 times 100. 700. Good. That's the big boss. Variable cost. That's 20 divided by 25 times 100. That'll give us. 80%. Then contribution was 20%. So in short, all what can you say is this? In essence, if the examiner state the CS ratio to be 20%, then it means that the variable cost to sales ratio must also be what the remaining percentage, 80%. How we get it? Because the sales minus variable cost give us contribution. The same way sales minus contribution give us what? Variable cost. For sales of 25 less contribution of 5 it must give us what? The variable cost of what? 20. So in short, in short, variable cost plus contribution is equal to what? These two give us what? The sales. I'll be getting Yes, please. Familiar yourself with all these movements. Because one of them represents himself in exams. The straightforward one will not be there. That one is my assurance. Yes. Good. So in this question, the CS ratio is 20%. Then the variable cost to sales ratio will be what? 80%. What if the CS ratio is what? 13.99%. What will be the variable cost to sales ratio? That would be okay. Eighty-six dot what? So one good. So that is great. So that is it. Now this year's ratio we can use for so many items. Now let's start. All the values in break-even that we have calculated, the CS ratio can help us to determine quick without worry. So let's start. All the values that we have calculated, whatever, whatever value, um, break even. If I did done to break even sales value, let's revisit that. We did that one B alternative. So we are going to generate an alternative formula for break even sales value with the help of what the CS ratio. So we said that the break even sales value or revenue the first formula formula one that we know is equal to the selling price times the break even what units how we get it alternative in formula number two is equal to the fixed cost divided by the cs ratio wow so it must be the same so this formula is for break-even value or break-even sales reward value. So that's formula number two. Now let's see. This 
The average scores will be what? Still 50,000 from the question, original question, 50,000. What's the CS ratio? 0 0.2. So what to be the answer? In fact, we had for the first one, it was 25 Ghana cities times what? 10,000 units. So we had 20. 250,000 Ghana. What about this one? 50,000 grab by 0.2. What would be the answer? 250,000. So this one will give us 250,000. Why? Sometimes the selling price will not be given to you in a question. That does not mean that you cannot find what the break even sales value. So that's your alternative, I'll be getting. But the margin of safety in terms of value, you can also drive a formula for it. I'll be getting. So, so we'll get there. I'll do that one also. So now you know everything about this. Good. Now the margin of safety in terms of value, we have 75,000, right? Yes, we have 75,000. We had 75,000. We have 75,000. We can also use the margin of safety value to locate it. It's a profit at the budgeted level divided by the safety. Then we are done. Let me calculate the profit for you at the budgeted level. Let me find it. Because the budget is 13,000, and then the contribution per unit is worth 5 cities, so times 5. That gives us 65,000. Less what? Fixed cost of 50,000. So therefore, the profit is 15,000. The profit is worth 15,000. Good. So the margin of safety in value that we calculated and we had was 75,000 Ghana cities. Alternative formula with the help of what CS ratio. In fact, CS ratio is there to help you determine the value. And also moving movement between sales. Movement between sales. Good. So the profit, I've calculated the profit at the budgeted level, which is 15,000. So therefore, the margin of safety in terms of value is equal to the profit divided by the CS ratio. That's it. But let me take the top off. Let me calculate it here. The margin of safety in terms of what value it's nothing by the profit at the budgeted unit divided by all the CS ratio, which is equal to MDT. Which is equal to profit, I had 15,000 divided by 0 0.2, which is equal to what? 75,000. And that's the answer that we had here. Good. The alternative. Then you are done. The profit. Now I'm done with the first section. So when I do one, you do one, one to one mapping, then we are done. That's the rule. Good. So I'm down with question number two fully. So on that note, you're going to do question three for me. You only have five minutes. Five minutes to finish question three. Question three. You only have five minutes to finish question three. Five minutes. Five minutes. Wow. Someone finish the radio. Now let's solve it together. Facts. So if you have short questions, eh? 
Yes. So first, let's try and summarize the item given to us. Let's try and summarize the items in a question. That will help us to solve it. So it reads. Um, I calculate the budget of his course in thread three. Target publications provide a single service to eight customers. Wow, single. An analysis of its budget for the year ended, sorry, for the year ending 31st December 2017 shows that in period three, when the budgeted activity level was 6,570 service units with a sale value of what 72 each so that's the selling price is what 72 ghana cities margin of safety was 21.015 percent good that's all so now help me summarize the question on board so let's go to the board so summary summary of the question they gave us the budgeted units agreed so budgeted units which happen to be the budgeted unit um so six seven five zero and then they gave us They give out a selling price, right? Which is equal to 72 Ghana cities, right? They are listing the information given to us in the question. Okay. Okay, so the budgeted contribution to sales ratio was also given sales ratio and margin of safety. Margin of safety. It's also 21.015 percent good the lastly cs ratio is what 35 percent good Ah, uh, okay. The budgeted activity level, okay, six five seven zero. Good. So six five seven zero. Good. Six five seven zero. Six five seven zero. So here must be six five seven zero. Now the question is, we are looking for face cost right and question mark so all the formulas that you know so far which have face cost in it bring them on board that's all so number one will be break even units is equal to face cost that's this cost inside divided by what yes contribution per unit right there's another formula to that have face cost inside. I like that. Someone answer. Okay. I like the answer. Let's see. Good. Now. Now there's a second break even value was the formula the second formula that we created that one also have what this cost inside 
any of these will give us the answer. So, break even value is equal to what? Fixed cost divided by the CS ratio. All of these. So, any of these approach, you get the answer correct. So, first, let me write it on top of what I'm going to it's called divided by CS ratio. Now, any of this, so I'll start with this one first. I come and pick this one. The answer will still be the same. Good. That's great. Now, okay, so I'll try the first one that we have to make face calls the subject, right? To make face cost the subject, that will be contribution per unit times what? Oh, break even unit, then we are done. Oh, then that's good news. That's a issue. So, therefore, according to the first method, according to the first method, face cost is equal to contribution this time this one so break even unit times what contribution per unit that's all so now let's find the break even unit first now cover the break even unit for me because now we know the budget they give us the budgeted units good we know the margin safety the break even unit here yeah, we can cover that one right so what's that one so if you cannot do anything, not these items. So therefore, the breaking unit will be what? Break even unit will be. So let's see break even unit. Break even unit is equal to. He said that break one plus what? It should break even unit contribution by by what? First plus by contribution, right? No. Yeah, you're using the alternative approach. Yeah. So the break-even unit, using the other way, is the margin of safety method. We said that is one minus the margin of safety, right? Times what the budgeted unit, average. Uh -huh. So you open your bracket, one minus what the margin of safety. But the figure is a bit horrible. What can you do? Yes, margin safety. So one. We are looking for the big EV units. Good. So let's convert this zero dot two one zero one five times the budget. The budget is six five. So this was what we learned under the question number two. They're repeating it here. They're going to repeat it again. Mm -hmm. no. That from now on, no fold. Great. So, yeah, what do you get? So, the answer will be only the gold. So, one less point two one zero one five. Times six five seven zero. That's five one eight nine dot three one. Great. So okay, we will take that. So that will give us five one eight nine point three one. That is the break even unit. That's a break even word, genius. Now, let me the contribution per unit. 
left the contribution per unit. Now, to get the contribution per unit, just multiply the CNC ratio by the selling price to give you what the contribution per unit. <laughs> so that is it. Good. Because we said that CS ratio is nothing by contribution over what? Over sales or selling price. So to make so to make the contribution credit the subject, what do you do? This guy must multiply this guy. Yes. So therefore, that's the alternative. Have you seen? There's no formula for finding what? For finding the contribution per unit, you have to get a certain price less the variable cost. But look at the alternative that we are using here. So, so that is it. So therefore, in short, the fixed cost is nothing by the breaking unit, which is 5189.31 times what? Times 35 percent because we are not adjusting. So let me get something like this. So it's equal to first cost will be the break even, which is 5189.31. Then you relax. What the contribution per unit? The contribution per unit we said is what? Good. Is the selling price times the CS ratio. So it will be times 72 times 35%. And that's the final answer. And now maybe times 0.35 times 72. That's 137. Seven, Seven seven zero dot what? But let me use this one. Five one eight nine dot three one times seven three times one three five. Yes, one three zero seven seven zero dot six one. So that is the first one. That's the first approach. How we get it? The first method. That's the method word one. That is the method word one using this guy. Now, the method two says find the break even word value. Break even word value. Then multiply by the CS ratio to also give the first cost. So that's the method I want to use, the method two. Out method one is clear. Out method one is clear. Good. Now method two. Method two. You have to make this call the subject here. Making this call the subject. You have to multiply the CS ratio by what? Break even value. Break even value. We are assuming that it's not done this. So first, you have to find the break even value. Break even value. Now, we have to go through this process to determine the break even. Then you multiply by the selling price to give you what the break even value. Wow. Good. Good. Um, let's start again and find. Make first cause the subject here. So first cause will be what? Of break even value times what CS ratio. What's the break even value? It's nothing alternative. The first formula is equal to the break even unit, which is what? 5189.31. Times the selling price of what 72 cities. That is the break even value. Now, what's the CS ratio? It's 35. So, times 35%. Yeah, then it's the same answer 130. In fact, if you watch it, this 130 
This one is here, 72. Everything is there. Like, it's the same calculation that you can. Arrangement is the same. If I should lift this bracket from here, in fact, it's the same arrangement. Everything is virtually the same. Meanwhile, the formulas are different, right? But they end up giving us the same figures as a substitution. So 1770.61. Good. So that is it. Now we are done. If we do have any question, kindly ask. Then I will go in for a deeper section of the margin, the CS ratio. I will go in for deeper section. A deeper section, the CS ratio. The CS ratio. Okay. Now I will use a question for I had wanted to go deep for the CS ratio because I have a second formula for it. So I will use a question to explain that and then you'll be fine. Good. Now let's continue the question solving. I'm solving question number yes, the same place. Question 3B. Okay. That is ICA May 2012. Question 5B. Good. Now, first, calculate the profit volume ratio, PV ratio. Uh, what is PV ratio? As we know, we know CS ratio, but now they're saying PV ratio. So which one are you going to calculate? So profit volume ratio, good. So in fact, CS ratio is the same as what? Profit volume ratio, they are the same. So that CS ratio or what? PV ratio. CS ratio is the same as what? Profit volume ratio. How we get it? Good. I've got a break even point in sales value. Wow. Profit when sales value is worth 1.8 million. Sales value required to make a profit of what? 120,000. Margin of safety in both years. Here yeah, I want it in value and then as a percentage. Now let's go to the question. At the bio plastic company produces plastic buckets, which are distributed all over the country. During the years 2009 and 2010, the following data were extracted from the books of Abbeville. So sales, profit, yeah, of them are there. Good. Good. Now, we are going to calculate what CS ratio. So let's go to the board. CS ratio, how do you calculate CS ratio? How do you calculate for CS ratio? So for CS ratio, we said that the formulas so first i cs what ratio hmm. trouble cs ratio is equal to what which is the same as what pv ratio so is that cs or pv they are the same but we are doing what c v p the cost volume profit analysis so CVP or CS ratio or VP, how we get it? So like, good. Uh, 
Now let's see. So this, the first answer, either we say contribution per unit divided by the selling price times your 100, or total contribution, total what? Contribution divided by total sales times 100. Now, let's go to the question. These two items, which of them, or these two formulas, which of them will be what applicable with regards to this question? And let's see. So in your question, there's total sales is there. Wow. Total sales is here. But there are no words contribution. No fixed cost, no variable cost. Wow. That's good news. So this calls for a second or a third formula for the CS ratio is very important. Now the CS ratio, the formula that I have tried and tested, it's very good. So CS ratio or PV ratio so I get a PV ratio. It's nothing by, in fact, define CVP for me. He said that how does changes in volume of the outputs affect the, the sales revenue, profits, and what? The cost. So therefore, in short, it's equal to change in profit over change in sales revenue times 100. That's the alternative format for what CS ratio. So in some question, the contribution penny will not be given to you. So it means that you cannot calculate what the CS ratio. No, that is the alternative. Good. So that is it. So this is the formula that we are going to use. And then, in such situation, without a CS ratio, you, you cannot solve the question. In such situation. So now, let's see. Okay. So let me write it small here so that we can reserve space. Good. So we are saying that CS ratio is nothing by change in profit over change in sales. <clears throat> change simple means change means new minus old. If you want to express it in percentage, divided by old and times it by what? 100. But here we don't want the percentage, we want the absolute figure. Because good. So change simple means new minus what? Old. That's the change. If change. If you want to express the change as percentage, then divide it by what? Old. Times what? Hundred. That is percentage. But here we don't want the percentage. Even though if you go ahead and find use the percentage, you get the same answer. Yes, but to make it, make the workings plenty. So I want to use this approach, I'll be get it. So now let's go to the question. So what is the new profit minus the old profit all divided by new sales minus old sales? We are done. Let's go to the question. Which one will be new, which one will be old? Or current minus previous. 2010. 2010 becomes current or new. And then 2009 becomes what? Previous or old. You are done. So profit is what? 130 and 80, right? Yes. It will be 130,000 minus 80,000 all divided by sales was 1,000. 
four, that's 1.4 million minus 1,200, 1.2 million times what? 100. So what's the CS ratio? So the CS ratio will be? So the CS ratio will be fat 130 minus 80. That will give us 50. So 50 divided by 200 times 100. And that will give us, so 25%, right? As soon as you know that the CS ratio is 25%, the variable cost to source also be what? The remaining half, 75%. So if I ask you to find for the total variable cost and total contribution, you get the same answer. You will get the same answer. Like that is. So the first one is collected from the way. Now let's go to the second requirement. Break even point in sales value here question like this you cannot find what for the break-even units you can only find for the value good by using the other alternative so let's go to the board now this is the i i i percentage so break even point into bracket value with a value what you have to do is relax break even value is equal to fixed cost there are two formulas right the first formula is the break even unit times selling price. In questions like this, you cannot find a break even. You can determine it. Good. So you have to use the second formula, which says that face cost divided by what? CS ratio. Good. That's the break even value. So the question is. You know CS ratio, we don't know what the first cost. So let's go and look for the first cost. Have you seen? So working number one, first cost. So let's go and calculate the first cost. So calculation of what? First cost. Calculation of first cost. So finding for the first cost. Good. Now I will use only one activity you have to use just one activity level either 2010 or 2009 but for teaching purposes i'll use the two all of them will give us the same answer because we said that fixed costs are costs that are what fixed between what a relevant range of what output how we get it relevant range of what output fixed costs are like that so let's take 2009 to get a first cost, we have to do what? Calculate the total cost. And then subtract what? The total variable cost from it. Because total cost is nothing by first cost plus the total variable cost, right? The variable cost. So now if you are looking for the variable cost, how do you get? If you are looking for the first cost, how do you calculate it? You subtract, that's all. So now let's calculate. Or let's find for the total cost. So total cost. Can I see this here? Now total cost too is not easy. They have given us sales and then profits. Sales minus total cost give us what profit, right? Is it about profits? So how do you find for the total cost? So it's not. You have to make this guy the subject here before you can find the total cost. 
So the difference between sales and profits is the total cost, right? Let us know the sales is let's say 100, total cost is 80. What would be the profit? 20. Now, if I don't give this and ask you to find for the total cost, how do you get a total cost? You know, the total cost is just the difference between what the sales and what the profits. Minus profits. Yeah. Yes, make this guy the subject. Mm -hmm. This guy will come here, this guy will come here, right? Okay, so to be 100 minus 20 is equal to x. So therefore, 80 is equal to what? x. Yeah, so is that different? Sales minus profits will give us what? Total cost. How we get? Okay, so sales less total cost is equal to profit. Make total cost the subject. So this guy will stand here. Okay, let this guy come here. So to be sales minus profit is equal to what? Total cost. Good. So that is it. So now let's use the calculator to work on that. Open a bracket here. Let's pick one of the activity level. We are picking, let's pick 2009 first. So for 2009, let me write 2009 here, bracket 29. 2009, what is the sales? Sales is what? 1.2 million, right? So 1,000 to two. Less what the profit of what eighty thousand right? So the total fixed cost will be total fixed cost will be one one yes one one two one two three. So that's the total fixed cost because one point two million less eighty thousand. So it's the same as thousand two hundred. Less what? Less 80. Now we have the total cost. Let me do what? The variable cost. But before we can get a variable cost, we have to remind ourselves with the assumption that states that if the CS ratio is 25% of sales, then the variable cost will be what? 75% of sales. Of what? All of them is on sales. Sales is hundred percent. So therefore, total variable cost at this activity level will be what? Open your bracket. Tell the examiner that to be seventy-five percent of that activity is what sales. So what's the sales for two thousand and nine? Still the same at one point two million. So seventy-five percent of one point two million will give us. But I've short cut six, but. So, 75% of 1.2 million will give us, let's see. So, 75% will be the variable Yes. The variable cost of sales with the variable cost. So, 0.75 times 1.2 million. That's 900, right? Good. I like the answer 900. So, 900,000. So, what's the total fixed cost? So, therefore, the total fixed cost will be. TFC total cost less the total variable cost. So that'll give us two twenty thousand. I agree. Mm -hmm. That's two twenty thousand. Yeah. One one two percent time, sorry. Of thousand two and one point two million. No, 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 no. Supposed to be one point two million, but the space is so I've shortcut it. Well, let me write more. But let me write it in four. Open my bracket nicely. I write here total variable cost into brackets 1200 like this, comma one, two, three times 75%, and that'll give us 900. Good. So that's the total face cost. 
Okay. Now, if we use 2010, you still get the same answer. Let's try it and see. Assuming that you are using 2010, I'll do it here. Now, assuming that you are using 2010. So, for 2010, for 2010, now that we know this, I can take this session off. Let me take this session off. Let me take this session off. Sorry. So we are confirming the first cost. 2010. Total cost will be what? Total cost. 2010, the total cost for let me read those here. But I've cleaned the 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 sales revenue. Okay. 2010. Uh let me stop it down. 2010. Total cost is what? 2010, the total cost will be, open your bracket, that will give us the 1.4 million less 130, right? Good. So 1.4 less 130, that will give us 1270. What's the total variable cost? That one to find 75% of the of the sales revenue, the total variable cost is what thousand four hundred less times what seventy five percent. I mean, so that will give us the same. Uh, I like that. So thousand four times point seven five, and that will give us ten fifty. Good. So you take it off. You get two twenty. Please, exam. Don't do the two. If you did a two for me, I just can't say one and mark one. I'll be getting it. This cost is fixed. But use your calculator eh, to confirm and see, be sure that if you use that, when you're getting the same answer. And then, yeah. so that is it. Now let's continue the game. Now you know the first cost, so we can come and then substitute it in the calculation. So therefore, first cost is 220,000 all divided by the CS ratio of what? I'll be get it. So that is the game. So the answer will be the answer will be so two two zero divided by point two five. That's eight hundred and eighty. So eight eight zero Ghana cities. So that is the break even point in what in value rate. Okay, so that is it. Now let's continue the game. Let's continue the game. If you do have any questions, kindly ask. And you'll be fine. Good. Now the next question says that we should find the profit when sales value is one point eight million. Start work. But you are doing I I the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. Yes, so the I I I you are required to calculate or find a profit when sales value is what 1.8 million. Start work. That one is two minutes. And then IV. Sales value required to make a profit of what one twenty thousand. That one too is also two minutes. And finally, margin of safety four minutes. So two 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 four, making eight minutes plus reading time. I'm assuming that you read again. One minute. So reading time one minute. Start work. Good.
Let's continue the game. Now, so is I I I. Oh, yes, no worry. I I I. So is sales revenue. Sales what revenue is what Ghana seed of 1.8 million comma profit to be what to stop. Here, watch carefully. If the examiner state that prepare the operating statement, the solution could have been different, even though the finance will be the same. So let's see, I'll do all the two for you. Let the examiner that profits under the marginal cost approach because break even is under marginal cost approach or it's under marginal cost. So profit is equal to the contribution plus what fixed cost. That's all. So you have to find the total contribution when they produce, when they earn a revenue of 1.8. And we know that to get contribution is a CS ratio times the sales revenue to give you the, the total contribution. Good, now let's work it out. So contribution, we're going to work at a sales ratio of 25% times what 1.8 million. And that will give us an amount of An amount of 450,000 agreed. So, contribution will be the CS ratio times the sales revenue. Good. So, now we know the contribution, less the fixed cost. We've already calculated the fixed cost. So, less what? Fixed cost, which is 220,000 agreed. So therefore, profit is worth 230. Great. Okay. The same question that I've been asked in a different way which also demand for different presentation. If I should ask you to prepare the profit statement or the operating statement, which is the same as the income statement, that one, it will be different. If we should ask you to prepare income statement, if you do this, I'll give you one quarter. Yes. So income statement, is that or the profit statement? So alternative, profit statement. Profit statement. Now, when I ask you to write the profit statement, you start by saying your sales revenue, the same as the income statement. So, what's the sales revenue? So, they, are, they sold 1.8 million. Someone um, come to variable cost. Variable cost will be what? Will be 75% of this figure, right? So that will give us, so let's see. 75% of 75 this figure. So 7.75 7 times 18. So that's 1350. So that's a variable cost. 1350. Then for the contribution, which is what? 450. Then first cost will be what? 220,000. So therefore, profit will be what? Profit will be 230. So the final answers are the same, but the presentation is. When we ask you to calculate for the profit, anyhow you do to get a profit, we don't mind. 
But when we ask you to prepare profit statement and you're using formulas, you're using shortcut for us. We are asking for income statement and you're using formulas like this one. So note the difference. One is profit statement and one is just, you are just calculating the profit. Good. Now let's continue the game. There'll be some assignments. I project them and then send them to you. Now the next one is the sales revenue required to make a profit of 120 years. Thank God this one nearly escaped after the CS ratio. So the sales revenue required, so the, the unit required in order to make a target to earn or to make a target profit of what 120 to make a required margin or a desired word profit of 120. This must be given at what target profit. But here they are asking for sales revenue, not what break even units, not units. So let's go to the board. Target profit is 120. Target profit is 120. So I'll do that one here. Let me solve that one here so that after that copy, right? Uh, I can take it off this session. This is okay. Now IB sales revenue required to make a certain amount of profit. So you can write sales. Revenue required, sales revenue required. For the formula will be, it will be the fixed cost plus the target profit all divided by here, we have to write CS ratio. Have you seen? Fixed cost divided by CS ratio give us the value. We cannot put contribution per unit here. But for this question, we don't have contribution per unit. So this formula is also alternative to find the break-even at what a target profit. So now let's substitute them. First cost is 220 plus the target profit is 120,000. It must be before tax aggregated, controllable all divided by the CS ratio of 0.25 and then we are done. So these are the answers. So therefore, um, 220 plus 120, so that gives us 340 and 340 divided by 0 0.25, so 34 divided by 25, that will give us 136, right? Mm -hmm. So 136, <laughs> give me more than that, that's 1.3. No, so 1.36, so 1, 2, 3, that is right. So, so that is it. This in Ghana series. So we are done with this. Now let's finish out with the last section. It's a margin of safety in year 2009-10. How do you calculate margin of safety? Here you can only find a value and percentage. Mm -hmm. Here you can only find a value and then the percentage. Here too, I'll use all the two methods. I'll exhaust all of them here. So let's go to the ball. I'll do 2009. If I do one, you do one. So I'll do 2009, you do 2010. 
How we get it? When I do 2009, I do 2010. When I do 2009, do 2010. One to one mapping. Yes, the rule for the mapping is one to one. Okay, so 2009, margin of safety. Yeah, the examiner made it silent whether value, percentage, or unit. Question like this, you can only get to what? So, V, margin of safety. I'm doing for 2009. First, I have to get a margin of safety in terms of what? Value. So, I can only get a value first. It is equal to budgeted sales revenue budgeted sales revenue or sales value less the break even sales value. So budgeted sales revenue for two thousand and nine is worth one point two million. But the break even sales value is still the same. We had what? This one was the break even sales value. And yes, it's 880, right? Good. So 880,000. So that's the marginal of safety in terms of what value. That one gave us what? So one. So three twenty thousand, right? Three twenty thousand Ghana cities. Agreed. Okay. Alternative. That's method one. Method two. We said that the margin of safety in terms of value is nothing by the fixed cost divided by sorry the profit divided by the CS ratio. So give me the profit at 2009. They had 80,000, right? Yes. Or the CS ratio, 0.25. We do this one. Must also give you the 320,000. Wait. Must give you the same answer as the 320,000. Alternative. This Yeah. This yeah, this one is um, using the margin of safety value. Yeah, okay. Looking for margin of safety value. So that's 80 divided by 0. 0.25. That's 320. Now, we are done with just one aspect of the margin of safety. So I'll do the percentage. The percentage. Margin of safety as a percentage. You can calculate that one too. Yes. Question like this you can only get the percentage and then the value. You can't get the units. Now, this formula that we are going to use is a bit different from what we know. So take notes for me. So, margin of safety as what? As a percentage. For 2010, we are doing it. If I did 2009, 2010. So as a percentage, now the formula will be margin of safety in terms of value all divided by budgeted sales value times 100. So that is it. So therefore, margin of safety in terms of value is equal to the 320,000 divided by the budgeted sales value of 1.2 million times 100. And the answer will be, it takes on, or it takes on, so 132 over 120. So 10, okay, so 26.67%, you are done.
Okay, so that's the end of today's chapter. Please, I'll forward some questions. When the, the question arrived, kindly do justice to it for me. The question will arrive soon. Yeah. The, one of the questions is called Agrobeso. And then uh, one of them is also called Braha Beda. These are the questions. So when you get the, the two questions, Agrobeso, Braha Beda, or Ekopong. So called a coupon need a solution. And then kindly go to the question bank. Make sure that you clear all the questions I've done on this on the topics. A B C throughput, at least for break even. We are about to finish. Eleven with the multi products. So all what we've calculated here, next week, I'll do for multi-products, so for multi-products. Great. So let's see if we do have any other questions to clear them. OK, so the question that you have to try for me is question four. Try a question, question four. Please, this one, hmm. Question two, I did not receive the solution. Question four is yours. Kindly try and let me know for the answer to me. Kindly for the answer. And from question five going, yeah, the multi products. Then we'll start that one. And then have some nice question. Okay. That question is not. Okay. Okay. There's some question I'm looking for. If not yet, quickly, you have to make arrangement for him. Okay. That question is not here. I have to make an arrangement and the question will be here. Okay. Good. So this is how far the good Lord will bring us. If you do have any question, can you let me know? We can put it in the comment section, I'll pick it up. Good. Good. Kindly subscribe to all the videos. You can also request for all your past questions from 2010 to date, all subjects, all level. Then you're fine. Good.